Hello. So Veterans Day is every year is on November 11th, 11-11. And I just wanted to read you a story and also just talk a little bit about Veterans Day for a moment. A lot of people, um, you know, we have Memorial Day and then we have Veterans Day. And some people get this confused. Um, so a Memorial Day is a time that we remember people who gave their lives for our country, particularly in battle or from wounds that they suffered in the battle. So this is so Memorial Day, we honor people who have died serving their country. So they're usually military, we think of. Veterans Day honors everybody who served the country in war or at peacetime, whether they're alive or whether they're dead. But generally speaking, we're celebrating the people who are alive and thanking them for their service. Um, the reason we celebrate Veterans Day on 11-11 is because, well, it used to be called Armistice Day. And that was when we, when we had World War I. Um, November 11th was considered the end of all the end of the war, end of all of the wars. And many countries actually celebrate a Remembrance Day or a Veterans Day on November 11th because it, that was the official end to all of World War I. That's when we signed a treaty. So that's just a little bit about Veterans Day. Um, so I have a book that I would like to read to you. The name of the book is America's White Table. Now, I know some of you may have heard this book when Miss uh, in fourth grade, um, but a good story is a good story, and I'm going to read it to you anyway because I think it's a very meaningful book. Okay, I just took the blur off my camera so you could see my book. So this is called America's White Table, Margot Thies Raven, and it's illustrated by Mike Benny. Let's put my glasses on, please. It was just a little white table, but it brought tears of pride to my Uncle Joe's eyes. The Veterans Day, he came for dinner, and he stood by it, set for one person, even though nobody would be eating at the table. So there's a little white table that nobody would eat at for Uncle Joe. It was just a little white table, but earlier that day, Mama had told Gretchen, Samantha, and me that the little table we were setting for Veterans Day was just like ones that, that have stood across America in the dining halls of the Army, the Navy, Marine Corps, and Air Force since the Vietnam War ended. So there's Mom telling the story. The table honors men and women who served in America's armed forces, especially those missing in action, our MIA. So MIA stands for missing in action. And those held prisoner of war, our POWs. So POWs are prisoners of war and missing in action. So that's people who have disappeared during a wartime. It was just a little white table but it felt as big as America when we helped Mama put each item on it, and she told us why it was so important. We use a small table, girls, she explained first, to show one soldier's lonely battle against many. We cover it with a white tablecloth to honor a soldier's pure heart when he answers his country's call to duty. We place a lemon slice and grains of salt on a plate to show a captive soldier soldiers of bitter fate and the tears of families waiting for loved ones to return, she continued. And then we push an empty chair to the table for the missing soldiers who are not at the table. So there's the girl getting the white table ready. We, we lay a black napkin for sorrow of captivity and turn over a glass for the meal that won't be eaten, she said. We place a white candle for peace and finally a red rose in a vase tied with a red ribbon for the hope that all of our missing will return someday. Mama finished speaking just as sunlight spilled on the table and filled the overturned glass. It was just a little white table, but suddenly it made me want to burst with a feeling I couldn't explain. 
when Mama told us just how much our setting the white table would mean to Uncle Joe that night. She told us something we didn't know. Our Uncle Joe, who gave us big bear hugs and spun us around with airplane twirls and called me his Katie girl. So here's Katie playing with Uncle Joe. Our Uncle Joe was a POW, which means prisoner of war, in Vietnam before we were born. It was just a little white table, but it gave us the courage to ask Mama, what happened to Uncle Joe in Vietnam? She quietly told us his story. When Uncle John served in Vietnam, he was sent on a rescue mission and his helicopter was shot, shot down behind enemy lines. And he and his three crew members were taken prisoner. One crew, crew member named Mike had serious wounds from the crash, but Uncle John and the other men tried to help Mike get better and persuaded a guard to bring Mike medicine. Then one day when a guard looked away, Uncle John and the others had a chance to escape, but Mike was too sick to go. So Uncle John stayed behind with Mike because he would not leave a fellow soldier alone so far from home. So he stayed behind with Mike and the other two escaped. It must have been a really hard decision to make. But how did Uncle John get free? We asked Mama. Sometime later, Uncle John had a chance to escape again. And somehow he was able to take Mike with him, carrying him on his back and collecting just enough rainwater in big leaves to keep them alive until Uncle John found an American infantry unit to help them. So here's him carrying him on his back. Oops, this way. There we go. But even though Uncle John did everything he could to bring Mike home alive, Mike's wounds were too serious and he died before the rescue helicopter landed. I know that Mike was only 20 years old and he dreamed of playing football and he loved America enough to give his life for his country when duty called. And I know how much Uncle John loves America too, but he learned when helping Mike that a soldier risks his life for a fellow soldier because the best of your country lives in every man and woman who would lay down their life for you too. It was just a little white table but it needed words of gratitude. Gratitude is thanks. But it needed words of gratitude like Mama's Thanksgiving meal. So before Uncle John arrived for dinner, Gretchen, Samantha, and I decided to put three gifts of our own on the table to honor veterans. Gretchen colored pictures of all the objects on the table. Samantha wrote out the words of my country tis of thee as a tribute in song. But I didn't know what I a 10 year old girl could ever put on the table that was as important as each other's gift, as each veteran's gift of freedom to me. How could she show her gratitude? It was just a little white table, but I looked at it all dinner long and in the quiet inside me, I could almost hear the silent soldiers of the empty chair saying, Remember us, please. We are real people like your Uncle John and Mike, who, who left families and friends, homes and dreams of our own to protect your birthright, <coughs> excuse me, of liberty from disappearing as easily as sunlight from a glass. It was just a little white table, but it took my words away when I hugged Uncle John goodnight and wanted to thank him for serving our country so bravely. So I just hugged him even harder and told him I loved him. Uncle John hugged me back even harder than I hugged him. And that's when I knew what I could put on the table. My promise to put the words from my heart into a little book about 
America's White Table. And in the book, I'd use Gretchen's pictures and Samantha's song and Mama's story about Uncle John and his friend Mike, because I hope that everyone who read it would set a white table on Veterans Day too. So the brave Americans and the little so the brave Americans, the little table honors won't ever feel forgotten by the country that they loved so much. So maybe you'd like to set a little white table in your house. Then in the salt and on the little white table, on the little white table, I traced in the grains of, I traced in the grains of their family's tears, what each man and woman who serves America is to me, a hero. And that's when I saw the tears of pride fill my Uncle John's eyes. And here's how she traced hero in the salt. So maybe you wanna trace, maybe you wanna set a little white table and talk about veterans. Um, maybe you also wanna thank a veteran. If you know somebody who has served in the military, a family member, friend, neighbor, friend of your parents, maybe you could say a thank you to them also. That would be a nice thing to do on Veterans Day. You can make them a card if you want, or just give them a call and thank them for their service. That would be a nice thing to do. Okay, America's White Table.